we're getting all the ruddy rain they should be having that. And uh, of course you're getting fires now in France again. So uh, it's definitely about global warming, is And a lot of them, you know, a lot of these people say, ah, it's not to do with global warming. Of course it's to do with global warming. This isn't how we used to have it, is it? Not at all. But uh, I feel sorry for these ruddy farmers because the corn was getting all right. A lot of it's gone really black. If you notice, uh, corn in the fields is going black. Uh, just go for cow feed. It's got to be good quality for uh, bread, you see. <clears throat> anyway, there you are. Well, I can't understand. They give out the figures right now. Unemployment's dropping. I can't believe this. I, I just can't believe the bloody lies they're telling people, David. G's are away, why D? Ha <laughs> ha! 
I've been watching the <laughs> DVD here, David. I, uh, I bought it off a friend a couple months ago. It's called Somerset at War. And it lasts for about two hours. It's 15 quid to buy it. And uh, I was in the charity shop last week at Midsummer Norton. I was looking through their DVDs. I seen this Somerset at War. 149, so I bought the damn thing. And it's an interesting DVD because it goes all over, all over Somerset about the, what went on during the war and what planes came down and what airplanes were flying from where. And yeah, it was a good film. So I've been watching that at night. And uh, they were showing some motorbikes on there. The Gerda Forks. Now you can't see what make it is. And uh, of course all the old airfields like Weston's Oil in Aerodrome and uh, Merrifield and places like that. Merrifield's still going I think. It's used by the uh, Free Air Arm. Last album by Elton near Elminster in that. And uh, yeah, quite an interesting film. Uh, I expect there's one on Wiltshire, and well, I've got to be one on Wiltshire and, uh, and uh, Dorset as well. But um, I got a friend down at, uh, who's a radio ham, and he was asking me about it. I said, I'll let him borrow it. So I just told his wife, I'll pop down this week, and so uh, they can watch it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's even on there, watch it, and mine it. And, uh, oh, Lundy Island, and um, what's the other ones? It's down by Western Super there. Two islands there. They had uh, guns on them during the war. And searchlights. Yeah, quite an interesting film. I was uh, watching that, of course, it was just ended up with Shepton Mallet Prison. I know that inside out. <laughs> Not because I were, not because I was in there, but uh, I did work out there for a spell. And they were showing the hanging shed, which is still there. And of course, Albert Pierpoint went down there during the war to execute the uh, the Americans, and he didn't like it there at all. And in fact, a friend of mine works there. He uh, wrote a book about it. And I was talking to him about it when we went to Germany. I went over to Germany with the prison, uh, Mallet prison officers, and uh, he was writing the book. Then I said, I just finished the book about Pierre Point. And he said he didn't like Shepard Mallet and made a complaint to the commanding officer. He said, Yeah, that letter's still in there. He said, God, he said you're well up together with it. And I said, Yeah. And by all accounts, the poor bloke they were being executed at 1 a.m. in the morning. They uh, bring him in from the condemned cell and stick him on the trap with the hood off and bound. This is like six Charlie Bravo Oscar.
now you're coming over here uh, five and four, five and four. Uh, One hundred percent modulation, clear as a bell, and uh, and um, uh, signal strength four. I'll, I'll just go to, to 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 Mike and just see if he can hear you. Uh, Mike, can you hear the uh, station on the white horse? Uh, uh, he met you on Friday. It was the M6 uh, MGE. Uh, over to you, Paul. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And uh, 